five habits that will transform your body and your life. Guys, I wanna start this video by saying, I want you to pay attention to this stuff. I don't want you to take this information for granted. This is information that I derived from six years of making a lot of mistakes and growing a lot on a daily basis. And the reason why I make this video is so that you can gain the growth, the insight, the knowledge, the wisdom that took me six years, you're able to make these changes in six months if you listen closely to the stuff that I'm gonna say and you don't just like take it for granted. Newcomers to the channel, welcome. My name is Robert Briggs Glover. About six years ago, I lost 150 pounds. And on this channel, I share everything I've learned during that process because it didn't just change my body, it changed my entire life. It changed my relationship with people. It changed my relationship with my kids. It changed my relationship with money. It changed my relationship with food. It totally changed my entire life. And I want you guys, I want this for you guys. I want you guys to see this side of life. And on this channel, I share everything with you guys. So subscribe to the channel, hit the post notification, shout out to notification squad, and join the Brick Squad. Uh, also guys, I'm on a mission. I'm trying to transform 1000 bodies through my company. And I want you guys to be a part of it. And if you want more information about the 1000 Transformations mission, I want you to text BRICKS to 38470. That's Bricks to 38470. Become a Bricks Fitness Insider and we're gonna get it popping. So if we rewind a clock back six years, there, there were a lot of habits that I had that didn't support growth, that didn't support financial stability, that didn't support uh, just my overall mental wellness. And I've since changed these habits. And I want you guys to identify where this stuff applies to your life and make the adjustments because it's, it takes small adjustments to really make significant change in your life. It's not, you know, it's not this reconstruction that most people probably think that it takes to change your entire life experience. So pay close attention. I'm gonna jump right into it. Habit one is reading. Now, you don't have to go to the library and read big old books. Like, I don't care if you're listening to audio, if you're listening to podcasts, I want you to get the wisdom from those authors into your head because reading absolutely changed my life on a level that I cannot begin to put into words. I was not a reader. I used to hate reading. I, it, it was not something that was attractive to me at all. But once I started reading it, it, I learned so much about life. I learned so much about the world. I learned so much about psychology, which gave me the ability to help myself to, 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 to develop self-awareness. I learned about how to make money. And that was a game changer. Like that was definitely a game changer. I learned about nutrition. I learned about fitness. I learned things that supported me on my mission towards personal development. And that's before I go on guys, I want you to, I want you guys to set the clear intentions to develop on a personal level. You have to, and I want you guys to, to kind of compute these habits, right? These tips that I'm giving you guys through the scope of personal development. Because if you don't live with the desire to grow, then you're pretty much dying. That, and that's just straight up. Habit two, stop avoiding discomfort. Fabrics, he avoided any challenge like the plague. And because of it, he was broke. He was ignorant. He was fat. All of these things because he didn't do anything to intentionally challenge himself. Now, you wanna, you wanna develop discipline and discipline is developed through challenges. So now every single day I set up some sort of challenge to stretch me beyond my comfort zone. And that's a cliche we hear all the time, but it's such a powerful transformative tool. You have to, anything that makes you afraid, you have to take it head on. And that's, that's a habit that I've developed in my life now. If something makes me afraid, if, if something, because usually the, those things that, that you're afraid of, those things that challenge you are the things that's going to lead to the most significant change in your life, right? For me, it was calling creditors or exercising or having uncomfortable conversations with people. These are the things that I avoided. And because I avoided them, there's nothing, everything in my life pretty much stayed the same. I didn't grow in any areas. I didn't make more money. I didn't improve my relationships. I didn't improve my health and my body because I did not want to face those things that I was afraid of. So make it a habit to get outside of your comfort zone every single day. Attack life. Don't let life just beat you up. Habit number three, planning. 
Now, I'm a purpose mission driven person. And I think every person, if you don't know what your purpose is, that's that should be the first thing that you're working on is trying to figure out why you're here. Why were you born? What is your mission? What is the mission for your life? Right now, when I say planning, you don't want to just let the day take you where it wants. So I approach every day with a specific outcome. Like, what is the outcome? What do I want the results of today to, to be? And based on that outcome, I strategize things, very specific things, right? Now, there's a difference between being busy and being productive. I mean, really specific things, the things that I know is that are going to move the needle, the things that are going to get me closer to my goal, closer to the outcome for today. I make sure I plan it out specifically. I put everything on my calendar and I execute on, on every single thing. This helps me focus. Focus is so important if you're trying to do anything, if you're trying to grow a business, if you're trying to improve your finances, your relationship, if you're trying to lose weight, focus is very, very important. I heard this before I move on to the next habit. I heard this, uh, this saying, it said, distractions are luxury that only the poor can afford. Let that sink in. Let's go on to the next habit. Habit number four. Now this is gonna sound super corny guys, and I, and I get it, but I want you to make it a habit to seek joy. You wanna be very intentional about creating a state of joy, of happiness, because your state, right? Meaning how you're feeling, it controls everything. If you ever notice when you're upset, when you're feeling anxious, when you're feeling depressed, your decisions are different. You you would do something differently when you're feeling upset than you would do when you're happy. And your decisions, they mean everything. Your life is pretty much a compilation of all the decisions that you make. So be intentional about creating a state of joy. When you're in a good positive place, you're clear headed, you can make better decisions, you can strategize better, but you have to make that intention because if you just wake up and however you're feeling, you allow that to, to be your, your, your state for, for the day, you're not going to win that way. Every single morning when I wake up, I make sure I read something, I do something that puts me in a state of joy, that puts me in a positive emotional state. And from that positive emotional state, I strategize and I attack my day. So please be in a state of joy, make that a habit. Habit number five, reflection. Now I reflect two ways, through meditation and through journaling. You may not be into meditation and that's fine, but journaling is a powerful tool. What happens is I, I, I look at journaling, I look at, I look at reflecting on my day, on my week, on my month, on my year, the same way I look at a player you know, a sports player, let's say you're a football player and you're looking at game footage. It's the same thing. You're able to see the mistakes you made. You, you see what was what worked, what didn't work. You know, you're able to strategize using reflection and another powerful tool of journaling and meditation. Both of them is the development of self-awareness. Now, self-awareness is such a powerful tool because if you know yourself, if you know how to get the most out of yourself, you know your strong points, you know your weaknesses, you know what you know, what allows you to focus, what keeps you motivated, what doesn't make you motivated. You know, what, if you know all of this stuff, if you have all this information, you can, again, you can strategize your life, you can strategize your attack, right? Because you have to be proactive about life, whether you're trying, again, to, to lose weight, whether you're trying to, to improve your financial situation, you have to attack. You can't be passive anymore. You gotta step it up. Reflection is such a powerful tool, guys. And I know some of this stuff sounds, you know, really conceptual and, and whimsical almost, but I, I promise you, if you take these words and you put action behind them, you start a habit of journaling. And, and here's the thing, it has to become a ritual. It has to, you have to be consistent with this stuff if you want it to make change in your life. This is not something you can do for a week or two and expect to see, you know, changes. It, it doesn't work like that. You have to commit to it. You have to make this a part of your everyday schedule. Now, is it going to be every single day? No, but you have to be consistent enough. So for instance, the journaling, I journal over the last six months, I probably have journaled four to five days a week 
where I set the intention originally to do it seven days a week. And I share that with you guys to understand that, listen, you're not gonna be perfect with this stuff, but intensity is not, is not the deal, right? Consistency is the deal. Consistency is way more important than intensity. So if you mess up, right? If you start putting some of this stuff in your daily routines and you mess up a day here or a day there, so what? Keep going. Don't let that dis, you know, don't let that deter you, right? Don't let that uh, get you off your grind. Keep going. Don't beat yourself up about it because eventually you're going to get it. You just have to put one foot in front of the other. And I hate to sound all philosophical. You just have to put one foot in front of the other and every single day try to get this much better. Because think about it. If, this, if you get this much better every single day at some of this stuff, over a long period of time, that's gonna that's gonna add up to significant changes in your life. So trust me, guys. Follow this advice. Implement these habits into your life. Take your time. Be kind to yourself during the process, because growth it it's not a it's not a linear process, right? You're not gonna grow like this. Growth happens like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. You'll never know, right? And that may that may be silly, but trust me, growth is not a process that happens at you know in an incremental basis, right? It doesn't happen incrementally. It happens, you know, there's dips and valleys, there's ups, there's downs, there's lefts, there's right, and you just got to keep going. I I really hope this stuff connected with you guys. And I'm just trying to share the wellness. Please leave the video a big thumbs up. Again, go to BricksFitness.com. Sign up for the Bricks Fitness Insiders. I have powerful things on the way. Squad, I love you guys. And as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.